And now what I'm going to do is turn off the radio. We're gonna simulate that we lose transmission and, and see what's happening felt safe. Radio is off right now. Good evening. My name is Nelvik Berrios. Thank you for joining this Your Drone Search channel. In our channel, we perform testing, reviews, tips, and many more things. And if you're new in the channel, I will invite you to subscribe and click the subscribe button. Click the notification bell and thumbs up if you like the video. Today, we're gonna be talking about the precision landing, what's happening when you need to use the fail safe and return to home with the Mavic Air 2S. This applies to other DJI drones, but this specific instruction are gonna be specifically for the Mavic Air 2S. Our first step is gonna be turn on our remote controller and also the drone. We need to make sure, first of all, we have enough satellites before takeoff. We're gonna wait for those satellites. Once we have more than 12 satellites, we're gonna have a message that says, your home point has been updated. I'm still waiting for that at this point. But also, we're gonna go in the safety area. I'm gonna change bypass for flight assistance in case we need to bypass something when returning to home. The maximum altitude is set to 390, which for me, it's okay. Since we are in a 400 altitude uh, maximum area, I'm gonna decrease the return to home to 167 feet, which is pretty, pretty good for this area. If you see here, I don't have too many trees the other thing that we need to make sure is how it's gonna behave the drone when we click return to home. You can find this in the, in the all the way down in advanced settings. Right now, if the signal is lost, my drone is gonna return to home. You can change that to descend if you want, but this is gonna be only in case the drone is close to you. Hover is used in this case, like here, it's used if you are flying indoors. If you lose the signal for any reason, you don't want the drone to go up, so you're gonna crash in the ceiling. Uh, but again, keep it, make sure that you have that. Click in, let's see, cancel this. Return to home. Now, we need to know three important behaves that the drone is gonna happen. Okay, the first one is when you click return to home, and you are five meters or less than the home point, the drone is gonna land. That's the normal behavior. If you click return to home between uh, five meters and 50 meters, the drone is gonna return to home in the current altitude, straight uh, to home. If you are more than 50 meters in distance from the home point, the drone is gonna raise altitude to the altitude that you set, in our case, 167 meters, and then it's gonna come back home. Let's go and take off. As you see, the drone already set. The home point has been updated, which is good. Now, in order to set the precision landing, we need to go up, up to 15 meters, which is the recommended for from DJI. Wait four seconds, and then you can fly away. In this way, the drone record the home point for a precision landing. Now I'm gonna fly away. I'm gonna test first, return to home between five meters and uh, 50 meters. When I click return to home, the drone is just gonna stay in the same altitude and it's gonna go back home. All right? It put the gimbal down and then it's gonna land. See, it's making the correction for the precision landing. find that landing pad and it just landed the drone. Now I'm gonna perform the same test but going over 50 meters in distance. Take off. 
let's wait go up about 15 feet wait for just four seconds now we can fly away Now I pass already the 50 meters. Now I'm gonna click return to home. Go home. And the drone is just gonna raise the altitude up to 167 feet, like it's doing now. And it's gonna fly back to the home point. Now I'm gonna do the same test before five meters and you're gonna see the behavior. Take off. I'm going a little bit higher. I'm just gonna fly back. We are less than five meters i'm gonna click return to home and the drone is gonna land because we are less than five meters in distance which is normal let's go and test the fail safe in the case of the fail safe this is gonna work a little bit different than just return to home. When we have a disconnection from the transmission like the remote control died like the battery died or anything like that, or the transmission is caught for any reason, the drone is gonna wait six seconds in the case of the Mavic Air 2S, and then it's gonna come back home. But when you pass the 50 meters in distance, the drone is gonna fly back in the same trajectory where it was going flying forward, but it's gonna fly back 50 meters, and then it's gonna gain altitude back to the altitude and max altitude that we set for return to home and it's going to come back home. If you are less than 50 meters, then the drone is just going to come back in the same altitude where the drone is at the moment. Let's, let's go and try that now. Recording the home point. Let's go up about 15 feet. Wait for that recording for precision landing. I'm going to fly away. That's less than, yes, less than 50 meters. And now what I'm going to do is turn off the radio. We are going to simulate that we lose transmission and, and see what's happening if it's safe. Radio is off right now. Six seconds, the drone is turning and it's coming back home straight without gaining any altitude. It's gonna look for that home point. It put the gimbal down. Still not in the place, but it, see, it's, it just make the correction for that precision landing. If you see the radio is completely off right now. And it lands. Now I'm gonna be doing the test, flying away more than 50 meters and turn off the radio and see how behave the drone.
Now I'm gonna turn off the radio and see how it behave. Remember, I am more than 50 meters away. The drone is gonna gain, it's gonna fly back in reverse, 50 meters. Then it's gonna gain altitude up to the return to home altitude and fly back to return to home. Radio is off right now. If you see, well, I can hear the drone gaining the altitude. And it's coming back home. Beautiful eagle. As you see, we performed the fail-safe procedure, how the drone behave. Now we know how uh, return to home works as well in the Mavic uh, Air 2S. And uh, this is important to perform all these kind of tests in case of emergency, because you know how the drone behave when you really need it. All right, I hope these tips has been uh, good for you and it works for you. If you have any comment, leave, it, leave the comment in the uh, video. Um, I'm gonna be responding your questions as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed and you like the video, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, and thumbs up if you like the video. I'm here from the beautiful Tallahassee, Florida. It's a wonderful day. Stay tuned.